Hello, Namaste, Salam Alaikum, Sasrikal. Welcome back to another session with your war chef at Wareva.com. Today, I want to spend some time with you on this great Indian desert that has some awesome sweet tones and is so very well loved by Indian audience. The moment you say carrot alva, you see the smile light upon people's faces. Speaking of the sweet and smile, I want to also take this opportunity to introduce two lovely young ladies with sweet smiles that have joined me on my website. When you do explore whatever.com and see the smiling faces of these two young ladies, Hethal and Anuja, don't let them fool you. They are the most enterprising, innovative and hardworking internet culinary personalities that I am in touch with today. I was so inspired by their enterprises that I invited them to share some space on my website. And I am so glad that they are very generous in accepting my invitation. The reason that I wanted to add them on is because I want to extend your reach to good videos and help both our audience get to know each other and learn some great stuff. So in honor of these two ladies at showmethecurry.com and to officially welcome them to whatever.com, I am going to teach you to make this awesome carrot halwa or gajar halwa. So to make this dish, you can add butter or ghee. I added two teaspoons of uh, deshi ghee and I am going to fry some almonds, some cashew nuts okay, okay, and some raisins. As soon as you see these raisins puffed up, do not fry them too much, otherwise they will get too much color. Add carrot. You know I have around uh, 4 cups of grated carrot here. As soon as you add these carrots, add milk. Okay? Add milk just enough. See I have added 2 cups of milk to 4 cups of carrot. You can add actually 4 cups of milk to 4 cups of carrot. But what I did, I curdled 2 cups of milk and made into kind of a chana. You can see my Rasmalai video. You can see how to curdle the milk into a smooth soft cheese. So I did that which I am going to add in the last. And you can also do one thing is you can add koya to this uh, mixture in the end. Instead of koya I am going to add this chana. One important thing I want to tell you when you are cooking something take a big pan. If the mouth is wide open like this you know this pan is so big look at this and the amount of carrot layer is very thin. That way all the milk evaporates much faster and the cooking time is reduced. Also if you can use non-stick pan, use it. You know, the process becomes so easy and uh, very nice. When we are making lot of carrot halwa in the restaurants, what we do is we cook all the carrot halwa and then fry all the dry fruits and the nuts separately and add it in the last. Whenever you are grating carrots for your carrot halwa, you know use a grater which has got slightly bigger holes. You know I have a food processor which has got very small holes and when you grate the carrots they come very very fine. And if you try to cook it like this, the carrot entirely gets mashed up and you do not get good carrot halwa. So always try to use a grater with little bigger holes. Now look at this, you know only like 20 minutes and all the milk has been absorbed. You know, make sure you add sugar after your carrots are fully cooked. For um, 4 cups of carrot, I added 1 cup of sugar. But if you want little more, you can always add at the end. Okay? And just let it uh, simmer in a slow flame. Now, all the carrot halwa is really well cooked. But you want to cook it little more till the ghee oozes out. So, we are going to cook it little more time and then we can finish it off. Now you can see, you know, all the moisture is getting evaporated. This time you can add your granulated paneer or you can even add koya to this mixture. See, I just want to make sure that it is all mixed up good. Now you can see all this moisture has evaporated and, you know, the carrots are very well cooked and, you know, your carrot halwa is ready. I want to add little bit of cardamom powder in the last. Lot of times uh, people they don't want to add uh, cardamom powder in carrot halwa, but I love little bit. So I am going to add little bit of cardamom powder. Okay, and uh, 
Makes it feel good. Hmm. Wow. So, making carrot halwa is so easy. I hope you have enjoyed today's session of learning to make this famous carrot halwa. Remember that Varava is all about inspiring others to cook. So, please post your recipes and cooking tips so others may benefit from your great cooking. Thank you.